Hey, how's it going everybody? We're here in beautiful Davie and we're gonna do a Jandy Plus HP motor swap. Capacitor on this unit completely blew up. Let me show you what it looks like. Look at that capacitor. Completely exploded. Blew the, the cover right off of the motor. All because of where's that? Where's this little guy at? He was here a minute ago. So a little lizard. Probably got washed away when I opened the pump, but it was a little baby lizard. Oh, there he is. Right there. That guy right there. We're gonna get this thing done. Sir. And we're gonna be removing the impeller right now. We got the front of everything off. But before you remove the impeller, we have an impeller screw right here that we've got to back out. This is not threaded in like normal. It does not righty tighty. It's actually lefty tighty. Um, you go left, I mean, uh, lefty to tighten and right to untighten because it's uh, back threaded uh, from the factory. So I got to hold this impeller. So I can take this out right to loosen. All right, with your, your impeller off, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these four bolts here. We've already cracked them loose. And just, I like to use the cover for the motor to hold all my bolts. Remove these four bolts, and then you'll be able to remove the motor from the actual seal plate itself. Why are you doing that to me? Hey, stop it. Ah. You remove the seal plate. Uh, you will have to remove this, the outer seal right here. All right, so with that uh, inner seal out, uh, then you can go ahead and tap it very gently. Remove the seal plate off of the motor. All right, now it's gonna be do not reuse because they're flat, as you could tell. It's kind of like flat. Do not reuse it, throw it away. And with the seal right here, you're gonna want to go ahead and uh, tap out the seal from the back end. Just get a, any old flathead, get it in from here, push it down, taking that old seal out of there. Old seal out of there. Now we're gonna go ahead right and toss it to the side and here comes a brand new one. All right, so right before you put in your new seals, you're gonna to wanna to inspect the internal area where the seal sits itself at, you know, and kind of clean it out as best as possible, uh, making everything. All right, so as you, right before you put your seal in, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and clean this all out, make it look all nice and clean for the, for the new installation, especially inside where the seal, uh, sits at you know make sure that all that is clean there you can get any like rag or paper towel or whatever and clean it out and just make it look uh, fresh so we have the new uh, seal sitting in there properly and nothing uh, is going to impede on it and so it will not leak with the seal plate nice and cleaned out as you can tell we want to go ahead and get our mechanical seals which are right here brand new from these are original jandies okay and i try not to touch them uh, so what i end up doing is this is the seal that we want to go ahead and put inside of uh, our seal plate. And we move it into place. Okay, and we go ahead and firmly seat it inside where it's going to go. Just like that. With our seal plates uh, and with the new seal installed, we're going to go ahead and we're going to place our seal plates on top of the top of the motor. As you can tell, the top of the motor is up here where the handle was, uh, right where the capacitor sits on top of the motor. So that's where, how you wanna orientate the seal plate. Put it right on there and ensure that you do not pop that uh, seal out of place when you put it into the shaft. Go ahead and you can take out this um, just little cover for the shaft and go ahead and get your bolts and uh, just put them in the bottom of the motor and uh, tighten it down all the way around because this, 
is where the motor bolts up to the pump. So go around all four of the, the bolts and bolt it up to your seal plate. The seal plate all bolted up in the motor. And you want to, gonna wanna go ahead and put your other part of your mechanical seal on. You see that front of it, how it's very shiny and, uh, and it shines up with the light? That's the ceramic part. You gotta go ceramic with the white ceramic right there. So this is the orientation that just goes right onto the shaft. Put it on there and you just gently push it on and then that's it. Now comes our impeller and we'll go ahead and we put on our impeller. Tighten down the, uh, the impeller uh, onto the motor shaft. So up here, this is a um, the shaft cover. It goes on there, you see the orientation. It has two, two tabs on either side. That's where it goes into this top and bottom part. Then you go ahead and you take your, your motor tool, the shaft, the shaft tool, or you can get any, uh, I believe it's a, the 916th you can use. Or let me see, is it a half? Yeah, you can use a half inch wrench to hold the shaft. So you can go ahead and tighten down uh, your impeller. So hold the hold your shaft with one hand and then go ahead and spin on your impeller with the other hand. Now we're gonna be and put it back to the impeller screw. Remember it was right to loosen. This one is left to tighten it down. And then hold the impeller and tighten it down. Do not over torque this, it does not need to be. This is just a safety so that the impeller does not spin off of the shaft. All right, and the last step is we're gonna be putting our diffuser back on. See this arrow right here? This is the orientation. It matches up with that arrow right there on the back of the seal plate. Go ahead and uh, put it on, this is the orientation, and go ahead and screw that on. All right, so the final thing, we're gonna be uh, putting the seal plate O-ring. This is the brand new one. You can tell this is very round. And we're also gonna be replacing the diffuser O-ring. Now, as per the uh, instructions, we are going to only be using the black one and it uh, goes on the bottom one, not on the top one. So um, get yourself some lubricant, some uh, is really good for uh, O-rings and things of that nature. This is the brand we use a lot. Um, and what I tend to like to do is just go ahead and put a bead of lubricant around into that crack. And that also helps to keep this uh, um, the o-ring lubricated and it also makes it kind of uh, stick to it so when you go to put it in to the pump it doesn't fall out on it doesn't fall out on you and um you know then you put it in without knowing and then it starts leaking out of the side so lubricate this black o-ring and we're going to be lubricating the back plate o-ring and putting it on we got everything all done and buttoned up uh, we did all the electrical i did that uh, just to shorten up the video what i did want to point out is how the way i put the bonding uh, what i basically did uh, this motor comes with uh, this attachment bonding uh, this bonding attachment uh, what i ended up doing because i did not want to cut um, the bonding because this is one continuous bonding that goes to the heater that's over here um, so on the back of the original motor, if you're replacing it with the original motor, they had uh, the bonding screw underneath. And that bonding screw has a very wide uh, flange. So I just uh, repurposed that uh, bonding screw from the old pump uh, motor to the new uh, motor. Bind up everything. When you are filling it, you will need to prime it up. We've already added our water into the, the strainer basket here. Um, when you do fill it, try to fill it without splashing anything anywhere because you do want to make sure and check that uh, there is no leaks coming from anywhere. Um, other than that, you should be good to go. I'm going to turn back on our system here. And the hit filter. And allow this to circulate. Make sure that you see no water coming from anywhere where you're seamed up, especially underneath, I want to make sure you're not underneath, on this uh, bottom platform.
So as that primes up, uh, that's exactly what you want to do, all those checks and balances. Uh, I want to thank you for watching this video. Hopefully I brought you a lot of value and some tips on how to replace this uh, pump. I'm going to uh, put all the parts that you're going to need uh, down below. Uh, just uh, one thing I want to make clear. These pumps, the JND uh, Plus HP pumps, they do take a specific pump. It's a 56Y fat, uh, fat body frame. I call it fat body, Y bodies uh, frame. So um, don't replace it with a regular motor. It's gonna look much skinnier than that. If it's skinnier than the one that we've installed here, you got the wrong one. That's more likely a 48 Y. Um, so uh, it has to be a square flange. All in all, thank you so much for watching this video. Post your comments down below. Uh, like and subscribe to my page. Uh, please, we need your support. So if you could please subscribe to us, we really appreciate that. On to the next one. See you later.